All right, it's a beautiful day. The sun is out, the bees are flying. Still no flowers. So I planted 2,000 crocus and grape hyacinth bulbs here last fall. So, you know, getting there. Come on, bulbs. So we're in the mid 60s Fahrenheit today. It's, it's just a gorgeous day. There's very little wind, sun is out, and uh, the bees are flying. I've been all over the, the property today and they are, they are looking for nectar and pollen everywhere. They're in just like every nook and cranny. They're on all the wood chips. They're down in the hoop house. They're just all over the place looking for food. And there's, there's just no flowers open yet. Our red maples are still clenched up tight. We've got a silver maple that's open, but that's like the only thing on the property right now that has any kind of flower on it. So first order of business today is to get in here and take all the insulation off these hives. We're done with the insulation now. And then I'm gonna go start looking to see if anyone needs another box. So the great thing about this insulation is it just comes off without disturbing the hive at all. took seven minutes with no tools. I'm gonna to go into the hives today and I'm gonna see if there are any eggs. See what they're doing in there. That was a lot easier than tar paper. All right, I'm gonna go right down to the bottom and look. They got a lot of stores down here. Wow. That's completely full. This thing's packed with honey, folks. They don't need any sugar in here. Packed with honey. That's a heavy box. I hope the queen's not laying up here. There's the cluster right there. Tons of stores in here. Okay, nice big queen. This is the hive that swarmed last fall and then they made an emergency queen. But um, yeah, look at that. She's beautiful. So I think the thing to do would be to get her down to the bottom. These are all tiny little bees. They're so small. All right, there's no brood yet, but we have a queen in there. And they need to be down in the bottom box so she doesn't start laying up here in this medium. I'm gonna drop a couple, I'm gonna drop these frames that she is on down to the lower box and just put the mediums in a deep box. All right, honey frames on the outside. Where'd you go, queen? Up oh, there she is, okay. She's right here. I'm putting her straight in the center of the hive right next to a frame that has some empty space. And these are all stores. This has got some empty space. This is where she's walking around right now. And then I'm gonna put another one next to them. And this was their pollen frame they were working. So I'm just gonna let them build that down if they want to. And I'm gonna put an excluder on top of this. So we'll keep them down, down there. And then give them their super back. Alright, so this hive got a super. It had a super, but I just put the queen down at the bottom. So that she could lay if she wants to, and they have a few medium frames in a deep box, but oh well, they'll figure it out. And there's plenty, plenty of stores in there. So they don't need any sugar on top. They don't even need syrup. They are good to go. Coroplast is going back on because we're still gonna have freezing nights here and wind and weather for another month. This is a very busy hive. See if they need flipping or condensing. Wow, they're gobbling up the sugar. They must be low on stores. I put a lot of sugar in here last week. 
They're eating it up. And there's a lot of moisture in here. I can feel that, like, it just feels moist and damp in here. I was going to guess, I'd say there's a queen right there. But I'm just going to look at the bottom quick. Same deal here. I forgot I got a medium on top of a deep. Yeah, this is a heavy box. Yeah, there's some there's some weight to this box. Yeah, I don't they don't need any sugar at all. The, these bees are they still have stores. Still honey all over that. A lot of pollen. There she is. And there's eggs. Eggs and larvae. All right, there's no capped brood yet, but there are eggs and larvae right in there. Yoo-hoo! Okay, laying queen. Tons of stores. Let's just make sure there's no eggs up top. And I can put an excluder on here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the queen down in the lower box and let them reorganize down here and then put the super on top so they can start using this as a super instead of I don't want her to come up and start laying up top so keep her down here and I'm just gonna check these and see if there's any eggs up here there's so much food in this hive it's just I mean that's just full of honey they don't need syrup and they don't need sugar there's pollen up here. Maybe they'll move the pollen down once they realize the queen's staying down low. There's brood up here. That's okay though. There's plenty of bees. So this is already brood that's emerging. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let them, uh, I'm gonna let these bees hatch out and then go down below. And then they can use this as a super. Because the bees can go down through the uh, excluder, but the queen won't be able to come up. She's going to be locked down there. And there's enough bees in this hive to keep that brood warm. Yeah, there's three frames of brood right there. So I'm glad she was already down low. All right, so we got uh, a booming hive, or shall I say, slamming. Okay, laying queen, excluders on ready for spring they're gonna need another super probably in like a week once things start opening up i might super them right away laying worker drama hive balboa queen gobbling up sugar plan here is to get these these up into a deep so i can get rid of all these medium brood boxes Today, I just want to see what's going on, see what they have for stores, maybe take the sugar off. I'm going to go right down to the lower box. There's only two boxes, so they're probably all up in the top box. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of weight to that box. Lots of stores. Lots of stores. All right, there's a ton of stores in here. Hardly any bees. They don't need sugar. They look like they like the sugar, but they don't need it. A little bit of pollen. They are preparing for eggs, that's for sure. There she is. Balboa, generation three. Made it through a winter. You get a name. I gotta think of some names. All right, I don't see eggs yet. Let's check the next one. Foundationless frame. Yeah, that's just a heavy frame of honey. So they have a ton of honey in here, and they have a, they have a pretty good sized little cluster, and they have a queen. And all right, I'm gonna just do a quick swap of some of these frames. I'm gonna put her on the bottom, and then put an excluder on here. There she is right there, okay. She's right in the middle. All right, she's got room to lay down here. 
I'm gonna keep her down here below. Okay, she's down there. Once she starts laying down there, I'm gonna put a deep on top here so she'll go, then she can come up and lay into deeps and I'll transition them to a regular box, a regular eight frame box. I'm very interested in this hive because this hive is packed and there's only one box, so they are definitely going to get a super. Woo! I bet you there is a laying queen in here. With this population, holy cow. Yeah, I gave them a whole bunch of sugar and they ate it right up, so this hive is uh, probably low on food. I'm going to give them a super today for sure, but let's just see what we have for a queen for brood in here and get the sugar off of here. So for the hives that already have a single deep with a medium super on top, I'm going to try the single deep brood box, see what happens this year for springtime, and then just super them, keep supering them. It seems like they got a lot of stores in here. But I don't know how that's possible with the population they have. Remember that from last year. This came out of this came out of a walkaway split. That's what that was. Yeah, they don't even have these all drawn out. Still stores. They're not even drawn they're not even drawn out. No eggs there. Pretty heavy frame. Good amount of honey there. No eggs here, but we're getting over to a thick area. Okay. All right. There's our brood. There's our queen on her brood. Lots of eggs. Woohoo! This is so exciting. So beautiful. All right, let's see if there's more brood on this one. Yeah, she's been laying for a while. This is this frame is filled with eggs. That frame is full of eggs right there. Okay, they're getting a super and a queen excluder. And I'm gonna leave her down below where she seems to be happy. And they've been in one box all winter, so it shouldn't be any different for them. Except now the bees will be able to go up and start getting ready to expand. So very exciting. This is a slamming hive. Room for expansion. All right, this is kind of a monster hive. Yeah, this is a monster hive. All right, let's have a look down below first. A little pollen. All right, the bottom is pretty much empty. So let's look at the top. And I may be doing some rearranging. Whoa. Top is heavy. All the stores are up here. Queen's probably laying up here. Solid honey frame. Another solid honey frame. Some eggs, okay. Eggs on this frame. So much honey in here. I don't see a queen yet, but this that's full of eggs. Okay, larva, hatched brood. Gotta be a queen here. There's eggs everywhere. So pollen, they're putting all their pollen on the outside here. Alright, I'm gonna have another look on that third frame over. Oh, there she is. She's right there. She's not marked. Okay, she's laying. So I'm gonna put her down below. I'm gonna sort of do another sort of box flip, but I'm actually just flipping the frames. So I'm gonna put these frames down below. All right, so what I'm basically doing here is just, I'm flipping the boxes, but I'm doing it frame by frame because I, I have the mouse guard on the front and I, I can't just flip them over. The queen is right here on this frame. She's going down below. 
and the frames are in the same order. So right where the brood is, hasn't changed, it just dropped down. And I'm not gonna exclude her, I'm gonna leave these as a double deep and build up just a big hive. But I want her to start laying down below. Just a little rearranging. They don't need sugar, they don't need syrup. This is our double queen hive. Let's see if we have two queens still. Coroplast hive wraps, I'm telling you, it's the way to go. So back in September, October, there was there were two queens in here. So let's have a look at the bottom first. The top's pretty light. Wow, that's a full frame of honey right there. That's just a heavy frame. It's not capped all the way, but it's full. Another full one. That's all honey right there. It's heavy. There's so much honey. I don't. It's so weird. Maybe they just ate all the sugar and uh, left the honey. So what I was worried about was having the queen be up at the top laying eggs, and I think we have that in this box, if she's laying. I don't want them laying into a medium. That was the risk, going into winter with a medium super on top. And I gave it to them just so that uh, they'd have a little extra stores, a little more than just one deep. And I was hoping I'd catch them in time for spring before a queen got active. That looks like fresh nectar. It's weird. I guess it just could have been from last fall. They never capped it. The main queen in this hot... Oh, there's... Yep, there's one queen right there. Right here, there's a queen. I believe that was the... What I thought was a Balboa queen. The one that came in and took over the hive. I don't see any capped brood. The other queen that was in here was a big, fat, stripy queen. So let's look and see if she's on the other frame. Not on this frame. She was really prominent, just a big queen. All right, I only see one queen today. I don't see any brood. I did not look at all the frames down below, so, you know, there's nothing saying she can't be down there. So I don't see any, any capped brood. Hive is very, doing very well. They're really hopping. There's a lot of food in here. All right, well, I only saw one queen, which I thought, I know we had two when we went into fall. I could have just missed her. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. There's there's too much honey down below. There's, there's no place to lay, really, if I was gonna drop this queen down. So what I'm gonna do is just leave them alone for another week and see if we do start getting eggs up here, if there's a laying queen. I don't even know if we have a laying queen. So if we have a laying queen up here, then I will do some kind of flip. Um, if we don't have a laying queen, then I'm gonna do some whole reshuffling and probably just, you know, put a frame of eggs in here and let them make a queen. Cause this hive is, is hopping. Um, it's definitely a colony. There's definitely a queen running around in there, but uh, no eggs yet. So let's just see if we get any eggs in about a week. In a week, she should be laying. Carniolans. Yeah, they attacked the sugar I gave them last weekend. They took a lot of it down or consumed it or I don't know what they did, but it's mostly gone. Oh, I can see brood right there. So yeah, we got a laying queen up top here. So let's get, let's just check her out and see where she is and see if we can do some kind of switcheroo here. Nice little frame of honey. Another frame of honey. I think they like the dry sugar and they just leave their honey alone. That looks like fresh nectar. That could have been from last fall. That, that could be goldenrod. Okay. Larva. There's brood that's already hatched out. She's, there's all drones up here. Look at that frame of brood. Solid brood. Okay, they're putting pollen on the outside there. Did I miss the queen somewhere? Maybe she's down on the bottom. That'd be good if she was down there because I could just put an excluder between the two and let the brood hatch out up here. God, solid honey frames. 
just a ton of honey. It's full. Okay, we got eggs all over this frame. All over it. So she's laying the bottom too. Woohoo! There she is. Her mark is wearing off, but she's right down there working hard. Right in the middle. So she's laying down the bottom. I'm going to put the excluder on. And I'm actually going to try and find another frame that has some space. So I'm going to give her some fresh drawn out frames down here so she can keep laying down here. So moving the heavy honey frames to the outside. Some empty frames right next to where the queen's laying. Okay, now I'm going to exclude this. Keep her down below. And there is brood up here, but that brood's going to hatch out. And they can go right down through the excluder. And then they can use this as a regular super. I'll be adding on top, but there is brood here and it will stay warm because it's up high and there's plenty of bees in this hive. Okay, I have to skip Balboa new new package and the Russians today because I got stuff to do and it's getting late and it's getting dark. So I just want to get through this one because this is the other one that has a medium on top of a deep. See where they are. See if we can see a queen up here or a uh, laying evidence of laying. A lot of honey up here. Storm pollen. They're prepping this for brood for sure. That's a um, foundationless frame. It's all like drone size comb. And there she is. Okay, unfortunately she is up here. She's scoping out the top box. So I got to do some kind of flipperoo here. There isn't any, uh, I guess I could put these down below, these few frames, like I did on the first hive. Um, maybe I can just drop these three frames down below. Like these three here could just go down. All right, let's look at the bottom. It's probably full of honey. I would love to see some brood down here evidence that she's laying down here, but all I see is capped honey. So much food in this, these hives. Every single one. Solid, solid honey. It's like they didn't even touch it. It's full. It's heavy. Okay, I don't see eggs, but that's an open frame right there. That could be, that could be eggs. All right, that's an empty frame there. All right, what I'm gonna do is put those three short frames down underneath. <gasps> There's a queen down here. What the heck? was scary. How did she fall off? All right, I just put her on this frame. She's right here. Get her over toward the middle. And this is their pollen. That was a weird one. All right, well, uh, really good news all through the, the yard. Um, we have laying queens. We have some that are not laying yet. But the, the real big news is that they have a ton of stores. 
They're not getting it from here because I haven't fed them since November, October. There is one silver maple open uh, and it's probably bringing in pollen, but I don't know how much nectar they're getting, but I mean, every single hive I opened was packed with honey. So they got through the winter and they are left with more honey than I thought they had going into the winter. So today I wanted to get to the hives that were in a weird configuration, the one with the deep on the bottom and the medium on the top. I wanted to try and catch the queens before they started laying in the mediums. And I did on a couple and I did not on a couple, but I did a little switcheroo and I got them all kind of down to the deeps where I put a queen excluder because I'm gonna try on those hives to keep these as single brood boxes. I'm gonna try the old single brood box sort of trend thing that's going on now with about half my hives. So single brood box and then just super them up and just keep supering them up and see what we can get for, for honey this year. The ones that are the double deeps already, which is Balboa, New Package, and the Russians, uh, I didn't even get to them today because I just ran out of time. It's getting dark here. Uh, they're fine. I mean, they're double deep and there's no way they're full. So um, I will open them up soon and probably do a flip if the queens are laying in the top. But uh, basically I'm gonna try and keep those as double deeps and then super them and then those are gonna be the big monster hives. And the other thing is, uh, don't tell anybody, but I think I'm gonna try and pick a hive pretty soon and uh, put a flow super on there see what happens. So one last thing, I just wanna say thank you to everybody. We just hit a big milestone, 50,000 subscribers. Uh, I never thought that this was gonna happen. So I'm just making beekeeping videos and kinda of homesteady around the property videos. And uh, <laughs> this was not, not at all what I thought was gonna to happen to this channel, but I'm, I'm going with it and uh, it's all good. So thank you guys very much. Welcome new subscribers. My, uh, my bee bath, bee waterer carving the rock video just sort of went viral the other day and we've got a lot of new subscribers from that. So uh, thank you and welcome to the new people. And uh, that's it. So have a great day. See you on the next one.